Hello, this is AJ. Welcome to the vocabulary lesson for the big picture. I've got some good news. This is a pretty easy article, so the vocabulary lesson is quite short. Yay! Let's start it. Our first word is memorize. Dennis said, real learning is not memorizing knowledge. Real learning is knowing how to use and find knowledge or facts. To memorize means to remember. It really means to force yourself to remember. Force to remember. Make yourself remember. Force yourself to remember. That's memorizing. For example, you have a word list. And you want to memorize the meaning of each word. So you repeat it again and again, again and again and again. Memorize means remember. Memorize means remember. Memorize means remember. Memorize means remember. Forced to remember. Forced to remember. Forced to remember. Forced to remember. Memorize means forced to remember. Memorize means forced to remember. That's the memorization technique. Memorization is the noun. You are memorizing the meaning. Just repeating again, 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 again. You are memorizing the word and its meaning. So we don't memorize here. Do not do that. Just listen to the vocabulary. Don't try to study it. Okay, we don't study it effortless English. We listen and we enjoy. That's all. So you listen to the vocabulary a few times and then you listen to the other lessons. The other lessons are the most important. Don't try to memorize. Don't force yourself to remember. It'll happen. You will remember automatically with our method. Don't worry. Our next word is integrate. Dennis says, real learning is knowing how to integrate knowledge and use it. To integrate means to mix or combine or merge. It means you're putting things together. Putting things together. Mixing. So to integrate means to mix and what it means is, it means you learn something new. It's not enough. You have to combine it. You have to mix it with everything you already know. Right? You already know a lot of things. Then you learn something new. You have to combine the new thing with the old knowledge. You're mixing them together. You're seeing how they go together. You see how they fit together, how they integrate, how they mix. So integrate has this idea of mixing and combining, putting things together in a useful way. So to integrate, again, to integrate, put together, mix together in a useful way, in an effective way. That's integrate. Our next word is noted. Noted. He says, as noted psychology expert Seymour Saracen said, and then he tells you what he said. Noted psychology expert. So Seymour Saracen is a noted psychology expert. Well, uh, noted just means famous. That's all it means. Noted means uh, famous or well-known. And it also has this idea of skillful, someone who is good at what they do. So it's not famous. It's not like a movie star famous, like everybody knows them. That's not noted. Noted means famous because they're good at something. So Seymour Saracen is a very good psychologist. So Seymour Saracen is a famous psychologist. Not in all of the world, but psychology people, they know this person. So again, noted has this idea of being famous and of, also has an idea of being an expert. So he's actually kind of uh, repeating himself. He says, noted psychology expert. So noted also has this idea of being an expert. You're famous because you're an expert. All right, our next word is therapy. Therapy. So, Seymour Saracen said that patients don't get better during therapy. They get better between therapy sessions, therapy times. 
Therapy just means a cure. It's a healing treatment. A healing action. So for psychologists, right, they sit and they, they talk to the patient. The patient is depressed, for example, feels very sad. The psychologist talks to the patient, helps the patient feel better. That's therapy. That process is therapy. It's a cure. It's a healing treatment. The psychologist is trying to heal, trying to cure the patient. And the process, the action of doing that is called therapy. Therapy. So the psychologists, they think, they believe that uh, actually the patients get better between the therapies. It's not the time that they sit and talk. It's after. After the, the patient thinks about it and the, after the patient changes their behavior and after the patient uh, changes their beliefs, changes their ideas. So that's when most of the learning is really happening for the patient. Not during the time they talk to the psychologist. So he's comparing this to school. He's saying that it's the same for students. Students actually learn more outside class than they do inside the class. Our next word is primarily. Primarily. So this is the quote from uh, Tom Magliozzi. He's talking about what do schools do? Schools just prepare you for more schools. He says, It seems to me that schools primarily teach kids how to take tests. Primarily means firstly or mostly. It really has this idea of mostly. That's what they mostly do. Mostly, primarily, schools teach kids how to take tests. And adults too. So they mostly teach kids and adults how to take tests. They primarily teach kids and adults how to take tests. So again, primarily means mostly. Mostly or firstly. And finally, our last word for the vocabulary lesson this time, contestant. 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 Uh, he says that taking tests is a skill that no one uses Unless they are a contestant on a quiz show. A quiz show is a game show. Like a TV show where you take a test and then you win some money. So that's the only time we take tests when we're adults. In the real world, we almost never take tests. Only in school, only for school do we do it. So a contestant on a quiz show, a contestant on a game show. Contestant means uh, player. Someone who's playing on the show. Or participant. Someone who is participating on the show. So contestant means participant or player or competitor. So again, contestant means player or participant or competitor. They're all similar meanings. So the only people who need the skill of taking tests... The only time that skill is useful is if you are a player, a contestant on a game show, on a quiz show. And, of course, that's not many people. He's kind of joking. It's a joke. All righty. Well, that's the end of the vocabulary lesson for the big picture. Let's keep going on to the mini-story. Bye-bye.